Hi there, this is Brendan Stoneman with Remax Kelowna, and I am joined by property manager Patrick Shillington. He's a property manager with Remax Management Solutions. Okay, now there's a lot of property owners that um, may feel that you know they can take care of the rental on their own, and um, you know certain situations. You know, for example, they own a house that's got a suite in it. Right. They're going to be living upstairs, and they're going to kind of take care of their own tenants. I'm just wondering if you have any tips, maybe that they might be able to utilize to help them find the right person. Yeah, it's it's very important to have the right fits, the right individual for the property. It's one of your largest investments and you're entrusting potentially a total stranger mm -hmm. to move in and to look after it. So it's very important to do the due diligence in screening. Certainly go with your guts. I mean, if there's any red flags, it's better off to just continue on with your search and find somebody that you're comfortable with, mm -hmm. that you have a natural connection with. You want them to be comfortable with who you are as the landlord working with you, but also you working with them as a potential tenant. It, mm -hmm. It's important to do your due diligence for sure. Awesome, and then what about some of the, are there, um, I guess tools out there where the ho average homeowner can do credit checks on other people, or how does that like kind of doing some of the background work? What the average recommend? person isn't entitled to be able to do credit checks as licensed professionals. We are okay. able to do that. You certainly want to follow up with um, landlord references, employment verification. You certainly want to um, any other business or personal references. But again, it, it, it's amazing what you can find out about people. Social yep. media is a great tool yep. to find out about who these people are. And people may come off as being very nice, friendly, yep. trustworthy, but you can never guarantee who somebody is going to be. So the fact that you do as much in-depth research as possible is certainly key. Yeah, and it's funny. Um, you know, I have a property that I rent out as well, and I thought, you know, I'm a realtor. I'm in the industry. <laughs> yeah, I live in my office is down the road. I'll just, you know, take care of... Um, renting this property out to myself. So I found yeah. some tenants, they seemed great. We signed a lease, everything was good, and the day before they were supposed to move in, they phoned me up and said, sorry, we're not coming. Yeah. You know, it's the middle of winter, not the ideal time to rent out, and you know, so it was a definitely a headache, and that's when I called you and I said, here's my place, you take care of it. And it was, I know from an owner's perspective, the yeah. fact that you did the ads, you did the showings, yeah. you screened the tenants, you did the credit checks, you did all that stuff, and um, right up to, signing the lease, collecting damage deposits, and then I knew everything was done the way it was, yep, and it's worked out awesome, so I... Yeah, it, <laughs> it, it can be very time consuming. You yeah. could get inundated with calls and just get so overwhelmed and frustrated, not even know where to go. So the fact that us as licensed professionals, this is what we do as a job. Yeah. We can do it efficiently and save that hassle by helping you find a tenant, get paperwork, get them moved in, move in inspections, get everything set up so that at that point in time, you simply can just step in as the landlord yeah. and not have to deal with all the headaches, making sure you've done things properly um, and ensuring that you've got the right individual for the property. Yeah, definitely made things a lot easier for me. So some, <laughs> I learned a lesson. It's sometimes easier to just let the professionals deal That's with it. That's what we're so, here for. Yeah. So thank you. You're welcome. Awesome.